we wanted to have this, you know, this school that was going to be hands-on learning and kids are going to be really interested in it and they were going to be, the kids themselves would be invested in what we were doing. I was, she was my cooperating teacher at Wilbur Cross Annex, and she called me up one day. She was like, hey, you know, how's it going? We got our charter. I was like, oh, that's great. That's wonderful. Glad to hear it. Good luck to you guys. So Joni said, well, come up for an interview. It was really freeing to be able to teach the things that we loved, actually, for ourselves, and then trying to impart that to kids. So, man, Joni Gillette, I learned so much working with her. She was just amazing. Um, I had taken a couple classes in school, but it's one thing to take it in a classroom with college kids and, you know, yeah, we're reading this, yeah, we're talking about it. But then to teach those to those same kids that are in the books. It was an interesting dynamic. Just 67 kids with six parents is what it felt like. It's all about teaching, hmm, teaching how to do the right thing. And I think that's why I stayed, because that's what we were trying to do. So I... Hope, I would hope that Common Ground could continue to provide those sort of opportunities for, you know, the, the oddball kid. You know, in summer camps, we've definitely had a very androgynous kid who may or not have been trans, but her, you know, parents were very supportive of her either way, and they made it clear to us in the very beginning of camp, this is who she is, this is how she identifies, this is what she wants to be, and we support her fully. I was like, great. So this is the kind of place where people feel comfortable be themselves and I just hope that it could continue to be that way in the future.